Before I was a content creator on TikTok or a stock trader, which I've been self-taught, by the way, for the last 13 years, I worked in the fitness and restaurant industries here in Washington, D.C. When I started working in the restaurant industry in 2003, a long time ago, I know, I was getting paid the minimum wage. I can't remember what it was. Maybe it was seven or eight bucks an hour. The job of an expediter in the kitchen meant that I put the finishing touches on all the food that was coming up in the window, garnishing it, cleaning up the plates, putting it on the tray, and then saying, runner, at which point someone was supposed to come into the kitchen, grab the tray, and take it to their table. And I noticed that every time I put the food on the tray and yelled for a runner, nobody showed up. I'd be sitting there watching this food get cold, sitting on a tray in the kitchen for 30, 40, 50 seconds, a minute, two minutes. Finally, someone would come in and take the food. Well, one day a tray of fajitas came up, and you know, Fajitas are all about the sizzle factor, right? You want to bring it to the table while it's sizzling. So they give me the stuff. I put it on the tray. I say, runner, and nobody shows up. And the food is just, you know, it's losing its sizzle factor. And I think I'm going to take some initiative here. I'm going to run the food myself. So gradually everyone kind of thinks, well, if Kenneth, that's me, is going to run the food, we'll just let him do it. But food runner wasn't in my job title. So I asked for a raise, which was promptly denied. But I kept running the food because I liked it. It got me out of the kitchen. I'd interact with the customers. Maybe they would say, could we have more queso? Could I have a beer? And I'd run all over the place and I, I liked it. Well, one day one of the line cooks didn't show up. So they said, well, hey, you're cooking. Well, if I'm cooking, then who's going to expedite the food? Who's going to run the food? The manager said, you are. So now I'm a line cook. Line cooks made $10 an hour. I'm a food runner and I'm an expediter, but I'm still making my set seven or eight bucks an hour. The fights that I had with management just to get them to give me $10 an hour on the nights that I cooked were never ending. One day, the corporate office decided they wanted to get into the catering business too. They don't have the, the staff or the room for any of that. So they hired a whole bunch of kids, college kids, to handle the catering. And they were paying them $15 an hour. Even though the line cooks, me, were coming in early cooking all the food for the to-go orders, the catering orders, and the customers in the restaurant. One day, one of the managers handed me a few $10 bills and said, here, you go hand them out to the line cooks and say thanks. It was more of an insult than anything, though. When I found out that the hosts in the dining room were getting $15 an hour while I was still at 10 bucks, I lost it. I said, you're paying them 15. She denied it. The host showed me their pay stubs. I went back. She said, well, it is what it is. That's when I quit. A couple weeks later, I walked by the restaurant and one of the other managers came out. He begged me to come back and he said, we'll pay you whatever you want. Just come back, please. Take care of your staff when you got them or you lose them. So fuck you, Kevin O'Leary.